Hey everybody, Brian from the cabinet joint here and I would like to talk today about an option we have called the dust top option. For some explanation and background, when you order a base cabinet, a standard base cabinet is going to have spreader strips on the top and bottom, leaving this area open. This is a pretty conventional way to build cabinets. Um, some people call it an I-beam construction, sometimes it's just corner blocks. But these aren't really acting as structural, they're really just asking, acting as something you can screw through to grab like a laminate countertop. They're not doing much for the cabinet, but if you were to look up inside the cabinet, you'd see your countertop, the bottom of your granite countertop. That's the way a standard base cabinet is going to come unless it is like an open cabinet, like the base open unit. Um, various cabinets come with a full lid. However, if you take like a base full door, like I have on my right here, um, and you order the base cabinet as a standard base cabinet and delete the door and put a matching interior in because you want to have an open bookshelf, for instance, that cabinet's going to come with spreader strips. So when you look up inside your open cabinet, you're going to see an opening like this with your countertop. So in those cases, we have an option called the dust top option. And what it does is instead of getting the two spreader strips, you're going to get a full lid. Doesn't matter how deep the cabinet is, you're going to get a full top. So your top and bottom will match and you, you can use one of those in its place. So the point I'm trying to make is if you're doing an open cabinet where you're going to see the inside and you're unsure, always order the dust top option so that you don't have these two spreader strips. The other place this is really good to use is if you're building a piece of furniture like a dresser, um, anything like that where you want the whole thing to be encapsulated like this, you can order a, the dust top option and get a full lid like this. Uh, some people will use a dust top or even one of our um, fixed floor kits. Like on this cabinet, for instance, say you had your trash down here and you're opening and closing and you have you know, stinky garbage right here and you want to put a platform between the drawer above and the trash below, you can use either a, a fixed floor kit or a dust top and just cut the dovetails off and you can use that in here. So there's various uses for this, but the main one is the top of a cabinet where you're going to have an opening inside and you don't want to see the two spreader strips in your open countertop. If you don't do that and you get those spreader strips, that's not a replaceable issue. In other words, it's not a Conestoga mistake, it's the way base cabinets come. So be sure to talk to your cabinet coach about the need for a dust top whenever you're doing an open base cabinet. So hopefully that helps. Um, I don't believe it adds much. I'm not gonna quote you a price, but it's a couple of bucks on a cabinet, I'm guessing, to add a dust top and delete the spreader strips. So hope that helps. Give your cabinet coach a call with any questions you might have. Thanks for watching.